Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabag USA. In this video, I'll show you a new device to control the temperature of your networking rack. In this case, we have the brand, as you can see here, is T Connection. It's very good and it's one of the best I have uh, ever tried. It's very simple to use. It has a display that I will show you in a few minutes and it has a sensor that it will measure the temperature in the environment. As you can see here, this is the device you can put it in, in your rack. Here is the display and the buttons to change the temperature. And here it has a sensor. And over here you will have the outlet to connect the fans. So the fans should be on top of the rack, so it will remove all the heat that it produces everything that you have here, switch, servers, and everything. As you can see, this is the device that goes on top of the rack. If you have used one of these, these are very good. Here you have the switch where you can turn it on or off. Here is the outlet to connect it to the thermostat as I showed you before, and that way you can control everything. According to Cisco, it's recommended to have 18 degrees Celsius to 25 Celsius. That is the ideal temperature. Also, the humidity, it should be around 40 to 60 percent. Now, I'll show you how this device works with the turbos that goes on the top of the rack and that way you will learn how to use them. Well, here we have the thermostat. So you, as you can see, it has a little display and it has the four buttons to control the device. And as you can see here, you will see the outlet to connect the turbos, the fans for the rack. And here we have the input connector for the electricity and here we have the fuse. We, here we have the sensor. So that is very simple and easy to, to use. Now I'll show you in, in a little bit how to use it. So I'll show you something else. Like I said before, here we have the turbo fan. So it goes on the top of the rack the network so here you will see you have a little space to put more turbos if you want to and as you can see here here we have a screw that when you move this is a little lock to leave it locked to the rack here is the switch as you can see and here is the input uh, for the electricity to use this. So basically that's it. It's very easy and simple to, to install. So now we are going to connect it and I'll show you how it works. Well, as you can see here, we have the power connector. It, it may change the, the depend of the country that you are in. Here we use uh, 220. So he, here you have the the input and here you have the output. So we are going to plug it in. And we are going to connect the other end just here. And we are going to leave it on. So as you see, it's off. And here we have the other connector that comes from the outlet. So we are going to power up the thermostat. As you can see, here you have the temperature that we have now. It is in Celsius. So I'll show you how to set it up. It's very easy. So first of all, before starting up, you have to enter the password. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to change any settings from here. So in order to do that, you have to push this button set for three or for five seconds. And when it start blinking with the 
up arrow or the down arrow you start changing it and putting the numbers so the default number the default password is 111 so that is what we are going to use so you push one and then you push this little icon from the freeze from the ice and then other one again and then push again and then the last one again another one once you have done that you push the ice icon and then you go to the functions here you will have like eight eight functions and three passwords so as you can see pushing the up arrow you will change the functions and after that you will go to the password so if you want to change the password so nobody will change the settings that you put on the thermostat that is the, the way to do it you see you have three now we are going back to the functions so once you want to change function one then you push the ice icon and then you will see we have 28 so we are going to lower it a little bit let's say 25 26 uh, degrees and then we are going to push the ice icon again and then the set for a few seconds as you can see now you are in the main menu again if you push it just once it will come back so you don't have to put the password again but in this case we are going to type it so we are going to push set for three or four seconds then we are going to put the password like i said just moving it with the arrows and then pushing the ice button and then we click on set and then we click on the ice and then we go to the second function so once we are there we push the ice and then we can change it let's say to 18 so that is when the fans will will cut but we're not going to do that just because that is long range from one point to the other to stop the fan. So this in this demo, I'll show you how it works. So I'll go with, uh, I'm going to leave it on 25. So once it's in 25, I'll save it. Pushing the ice icon and then set. As you can see, that is what we have set it. So if you want to see what what is the temperature to start running the engines, the fans, on what is the temperature to cut the fans. If you want to see when it's going to start the fans, you have to push the up arrow. It's 26, as you can see. And if you do the same, but the down arrow it will be 25 so in 26 it will start the fans and 25 it will cut the fans but the ideal it will be from 18 to 25 like i showed you in the whiteboard before so this in this demo i'll show you where i'm going to hold the sensor and uh, when it reach 26 it will start running As you see it start running and now I'm going to leave it like that so it will cool off faster
Alright, as you see, it got just the fan and it works well. This is one of this, the best products that I have tried. I have tried another brands and they, they don't work that well. So if you want to buy it, it's a good brand. Here is the box where I took it from. And you can go to te.com and you can choose the device from there. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any doubt, just leave me a comment in the section below. And if you want to hire me, just go to my website, gavacusa.com. And see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.